Eastern Pacific starting to heat up yet again. We have been seeing back-to-back -back areas of low pressure really trekking across the Philippine Sea, across the Philippines, and into the South China Sea over the past week. Actually, this is what's left of Ophel. It brought plenty of rainfall there across northern Visayas and southern areas of Luzon. And now, continuing to watch this area. Now, this is 96W. It does look like this could be named our next tropical storm here in the next 48 hours. So really uh, plenty to keep an eye on out here. I do want to let you know if you are not already following me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, I even made a TikTok here recently. Go ahead and check that out. All right, so let's talk about our areas here. Well, one thing I do want to note, this has plenty of circulation with it and actually a pretty defined center of circulation. What that means is that when we take a look at model guidance, we keep that in mind because that initialization is there as far as what it's picking up on and as far as the formation with this. High pressure back off towards the north is going to keep this on that westerly track. So for those of you in maybe in Okinawa, yeah, there is a little bit of a break in the ridge, but I don't expect this to turn north. The overall flow is keeping on that westerly track. Thus, for those across the Philippines, this is what we're going to want to watch out for. Here is what the GFS has been picking up, not only today, but for the last several days, this area is spinning up, tracking off here towards the north and making a landfall around Cagayan uh, there in northern Luzon. It does pick up on that little break in the ridge. That's why it lifts towards the north. But the overall flow continues to track on that westerly projection. That is the GFS about 115 hours out. Take a look at the ECMWF, our sister model here by the Europeans. And uh, very similar forecast. This does pick it up, developing, pushing towards the northwest and coming on shore there in northeastern Luzon. Not only this particular model run, but back-to-back -back model runs. So that means this area here, especially along the east coast, we're going to be looking at some fairly heavy rainfall on top of what we've already been seeing. So if you have rainfall, heavy at times, on top of areas that are already saturated, equals that chance of some flooding, maybe in that potential of a landslide or two. The good news... There's a reason why this area is one of the least populated locations in the Philippines. It's because you get so many storms out here. Uh, it's all jungle. So yeah, unless you're in a party or some maybe these coastal communities, you're not going to get that direct impact from this system. Still, time to watch it, though. This is the ECMWF, tropical storm probabilities, uh, where there does look like there's that chance of a storm over the next three days. Pretty high. So, uh Here's the main points I want you to take away. Tropical storm will be developing near Luzon. Regardless, heavy rainfall in northeastern Luzon. And also, I want to keep an eye on the extended forecast as well. Because I mentioned that high pressure is going to really be uh, located here towards the southeast of Japan. So if you have anything developing down here, it could rotate around that and come towards the north. So here's our first storm. But in the GFS, this only goes out about 180 hours. But in the GFS... 200 to 300 hour forecast it does pull something in this area of moisture pulls it towards the west and then back towards the north if you are one of those people that are model watchers you know what i'm talking about that chance of something coming into southern japan still very long range out that's why i'm not showing it here just yet but going to keep an eye on it actually this is a from the cpc the climate prediction center got that higher chance here in the next seven days but in the next 14 days does pick up on something out there in the Philippine Sea as well. Anyways, that's all for um, today. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please let me know down in the comment box below. Like I said, follow me on all these other platforms because each one I post different stuff to. Uh, Twitter is more day-to-day uh, -day stuff or hour-to-hour. -hour. I don't try to flood my Facebook with uh, too much information. Uh, Facebook, though, if you're probably watching this on here, I put videos and just some more detailed information there. Also, Instagram, plenty of photos here from northeastern Florida and TikTok. Just, just uh, I'm uh, trying to keep up with new social media platforms. There's too many to, to go along with. Anyways, stay safe out there. As always, thanks for watching.